I just got my Asus 1000H EPC in the mail today. I figured I'd take advantage of the price drop they just had. It's uh, now 450 on various retailers, Amazon, Newegg. Uh, on the left is the 701 and the original model, and I want to just do a quick comparison of the two. Uh, the first thing you can see is the size difference. Uh, the 1000H has a 10-inch screen, so it's obviously a bigger chassis compared to the 701 7-inch screen. If I pile them on top of each other here, there's maybe about an inch to an inch and a half all the way around. So it's not really that much big of a difference, but you'll definitely feel it when you're looking at the monitor and typing on it. Uh, as far as inputs, pretty much the same. You have your Ethernet there, your mic and headphone jacks, and a single USB, and plus the fan output. Exhaust. Um, on the other side, you have your SD card slot, your two USB ports, and your VGA out. Only real difference is the 1000H has its power input on the side while the 701 has it on the back. Otherwise they're essentially the same. Also the finish is a little different. The 701 has a flat matte color uh, type finish. I believe it's called Galaxy Black which I actually prefer because it doesn't show the fingerprints that the 1000H does. All right, It's got a glossy finish kind of like uh, you know your PS3 or your iPhone. Um, it looks nice but I can do without the fingerprints all over it. Now the biggest change, well not really the biggest but definitely something important to anyone who wants to upgrade. The 701 really had no real options. You just had a uh, single DIMM slot that you can upgrade the memory to which was a 2 gigabyte max. I only have a 1 gigabyte stick in this one right now. And you also had this miniature PCI Express card slot, although nothing ever really came out for it. The only way to really make use of it was to crack open the PC and solder some pieces to the other parts of the board. It wasn't real user friendly. Um, now the 1000H comes with a standard laptop drive. So all you gotta do is pop this out and you can put in anything you want. Uh, it comes with 80 gig and I think you can get probably 300 gigabyte drives pretty cheap now for around 100 bucks and really beef this puppy up. Um, you also have a single DIMM memory card slot here, 2 gigabyte max. This one came with 1 gigabyte card, although I have 2 gigabytes on the way. And of course, on the right over here is your wireless network card, also upgradable, as you can see. Um, let me open them up here. Okay, so big difference here. You have the 7 inch screen on the left with the stereo speakers on each side. Um, the 701 also has a VGA camera, while on the 1000H you have a 1.3 megapixel camera. Okay, you can definitely see the size difference between the screens a 10 inch versus the 7. Um, keyboard also is much larger since you have more real estate, so it's much more comfortable to type on this than it is the old 701. Uh, the Met trackpad is also much nicer. On the 701 you had a, a single bar here that you had either click on the right. It was kind of a rocker switch. Not the greatest. Real loud, clinky. The 1000H, double the size, separate buttons which feel a lot nicer to click. They're very low key if you can hear them. Barely hear any sound. Um, and this is also a multi-touch trackpad. So just like the iPhone, you can zoom on pictures, you can shrink. Um, a lot of stuff you can do with that in XP and also in Vista, which I plan on installing. So let me do a quick boot up test for you so you can see the differences. Now my 701 ha originally came with uh, Linux, which I took off and installed a stripped down version of Windows XP using Enlight and a few other tweaks. Although. I don't know if it's going to be any faster than the 1000H because I've been using it for a few months so it might be bogged down by you know miscellaneous un uninstalled files and whatnot. while the 1000H is brand new fresh install of Windows XP also depends a lot on what type of SSD uh, drive Asus used within the 701 if it was a cheaper one it probably has slower read and write speeds compared to the standard laptop drive all right, so the 1000H definitely booted up faster. And I'm just going to knock that off to my crappy Windows install then to the SSD drive. I really need to do the fresh copy to do a true boot.
Right, let me wait for this boot up and then I'll do a shutdown to compare to. Alright. Do this as close as possible. Alright, so let's do this. Well, that application wasn't open, it would have probably closed faster than 1000H. Alright, so 1000H still beat out the 701 shutdown time. Um, again, I'm going to cough it up to my poor installation of Windows XP. Um, I'd have to do a fresh install to really test it out. But I do think the 1000H is definitely faster because I don't remember the 701 shutting down any faster than that. Um, so that's pretty much it. I plan on installing Vista and upgrading the 2 gigabytes of RAM on the 1000H. And I'm probably going to install uh, Tiger on the 701 play around with that a bit so maybe I'll do another YouTube video after that and compare the differences and that's about it thanks for watching